Dustin Poirier and Eric Coe are two of the most excited tonight. They battle it out to see who will rise in the fight. Because a win over Eric Coe, another top 10 guy, puts me right at the top of the pack. And then the UFC for his aggressive attack and title worthy contender tonight. I feel matured and the most dangerous I've ever seen. Nicknamed New Breed as a proud representative of the new Gen Act to one day add a new title to his name. Champ. I still want to crack at that title. Dustin the Diamond Poirier guy for 145 pounds. Actually, these guys are finally fighting because for a long time I, I would confuse styles, very similar talent level, commensurate ability. To get things started, Dustin Poirier, Eric Koch, Matt, but they truly are. They're evenly matched. They've had a lot of... I'll tell you what, you and I know how good the division is at 145. Yeah, I mean, these guys are both really exciting prospects. They both love to strike. They're both very entertaining with their strike. They get back up. I mean, these are two men that you can see no... That's what Duke Roof is telling He said he, he's like, I don't want to look like him. I just got both guys are very, very talented strikers. Tie base, but also a good submission game as well. Mirror, mirror images of each other facing off and seeing. When he first came on the scene, all the talk was about Josh Crisp. I mean, his battles against Chan Sung Jung and Cub Swanson didn't go his way. But what type of fights are critical for a young fighter's career? To really, Sung Jung, when he submitted Dustin Poirier, he brought Dustin Poirier up. It could be said about Cope. Cope was cruising along. And like, an absolute beast. Poirier. Our tail of the tape for this featherweight fight. Both are 20. The official introductions. Here is Bruce Buffer. Fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist, holy professional ring, out of Coconut Creek, Florida, by way of Lafayette, Louisiana. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a 45 pound, fighting out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Rob Hyde. Great to be right, here gentlemen, tonight. Here we go. First round, UFC 164, Eric Coach, Black Trunks for Dustin Poirier. Trying to push forward. Four team Rufus Sport fighter. Tough by Poirier, but also a beautiful leg kick, or a body kick rather. But again, he got tagged a couple he's times. Him Joe. Up, looking for a triangle, but he does Trying so. To lock it down. He adjusted it. Dustin's in deep. Dustin's in deep water here. Trying. He's attacking the arm as well. He's going to roll him over to the mount. The, wow. He almost fell asleep there. He almost went out there. Got to posture up. Coke doing a real good job of wrist control. And got to get some distance here. He can't let him. Allowing him to trap him like that with one. They're going to work against the cage now. Real close for Poirier. Good knee. Coke lands one. Nice one by Poirier. Yeah, answered. Oh, Left nice. by Poirier. Over the top. Yep. Huge punch Poirier. by Poirier. It's all over him. Up. He's in a bad situation. Big shots by Poirier. Another big shot by Poirier. Done. Oh, beautiful takedown by Poirier. Right in the side. Can to the mount. 40 seconds. Poirier loves that choke. He's clapped it up. Trying to finish it right here. And as he goes counterclockwise, it gets tight as the claps. Boy, he is almost out. Just should it be. Wow. A little lackadaisical at the end of that round. What we need to do this round, back him up. and make him down right away. Got it? Let's put him on his back. All right. Breath. All right, breathe. Our drink. Managed the beginning, but it was all Dustin Poirier after that. It was the end of the round, had a very tight Darce choke. Great, evenly matched fight. Dustin Poirier, the only fight is a bittersweet loss to him, to Chan Sung Jung, because Jung got... A lot of strikes thrown already in this battle, but... 
plots for with those big power shots. He loves that overhand left. Boye training an American top process. And there, Coke with that nice jab. China straight left by Poirier. And oftentimes in a fight being quite as technical and just look to launch bombs. Take down. But there were some injuries incurred and in, it's a match of each other, although we are seeing differences now with my Poirier in the first round, maybe wearing on Coke here in the second. Frank here, not quite getting it. Tying it up. The defense for Mount here by Poirier. For Coke, he's got a hip escape. He's got to create some distance. He gets right back in the mix. He's trying to use the cage to get an adjust to go to the right. But Poirier, to me, it looks like he's trying to set up a mounted try. Nice knee to the body by Poirier. Did well. what we were speaking of Poye with significant strikes landed at 50 but he's got to do something dramatic to change the tone of this fight because the tight grappling in the ground got to be careful the way he's moving because he's moving into the left of Poye seconds of the second round there's a nice knee to the body by Coke Right here. Take a breath. Looking good, looking good. 112 all day. I need sharp, I need sharp jabs. Sharp jabs. Yes, sir. When you get a hold of him, put him put his back on the cage again. We started here. UFC 164. Coke trying to come out. And he's got to try to win this fight in this third round. Less damage. I mean, those two rounds have to won. And you could see the improvement in the grappling game of Poye with his time. And what's really important about the grappling was the deep and nasty punches to the body. They've worked in the clinch a lot tonight, too. Now, Coke is an excellent grappler, as we saw by Poirier. He's trying to step over that left knee. Coke in top position in the UFC today. Full guard, closed. He needs more of those. A lot more, right? He's got plenty of time, though, here. He can really not look that comfortable on his back. He's not doing... Sure. As he's getting stacked, good shot. And Coke's corner is getting very excited about this. Yeah, they're saying, don't let him tie your arms up. Much can Poirier defend? Who is this? Rolls him with the over-under, full back. Poirier's in trouble. Yep, minute nope. five on the... Dig deep in with the hooks and get his hip off the front. Really tough position for Coke to hold here. Fell off the top there. 35 seconds, Joe. Coke's got working at it. He's got the body trying. There it is. Lock it in. Have the energy left in his arms to, to complete it. He went for it. He did. In fourth battle. Yeah, I believe Poirier got the best of it, but I think it was a great fight. The distance as we get things started. Here to Let's go inside the numbers of this. See the significant strikes landed. A huge advantage strikes from the top position that Dustin Poirier with the submission late. Take a look at our fight replay. That was a huge right connecting Poirier on Coke. And then at the end of the fight, just a little bit too little too late for the kid. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, 27 and 29-27 for the winner by your name. As we thought, Dustin Poirier with the a great fight and two real mirror images of each other. I mean, moments into the first round. Tell me how close that was and what were you thinking? All right, losing this fight, like it's slipping away, like no way this is how it's going to end. I really th Let's take a look at what you did towards the end of that round. You caught him with a big right hand. House was in very tight. I have a really good Doris. Tap black belts with it all the time in the gym. My jab was so, so slow, man.
Well, listen, this was an excellent fight between two. One thing.